Okay, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Okay, so as I promised, I was going to do um, a video on masturbation. Okay, we did one on perfection, and here is the one on masturbation. Okay, and as you can see, this uh, picture here says, The day you found out masturbation isn't fun anymore. Okay, um, because that's exactly what happens, right? Um, you start off with, you know, young, most people start doing this when they're teenagers and you, uh, you know, it, it, it seems fun and, and interesting and, and all types of stuff. You're watching uh, pornography, you're doing all types of crazy stuff, right? And everything seems good because you're young and fun and blah, 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 right? until the demons start to enter your body because you're doing this sin okay you're not repenting for it right so you're doing this sin over and over and here's the thing when you do it you know you're doing you're doing this sin and what happens is it takes over your whole body it not not just your body well first of all it's destroying your body um but second uh i know that, i know there's things that say masturbation uh health clinic uh benefits and stuff you know people you know satan's people always put stuff like that out <laughs> you know this is good for you and things but at the same time you know your own body and you know what it does this thing does to your body um it makes you older it get you get old quicker um it speeds up your your, your aging process okay um and also men mentally it messes you up to the point where that's all you're thinking about all day long all you, i mean every time you look at a, the a woman or or if you're a woman and you're looking at a man that's all you think about oh let me let me go home and do this you know what i mean so it, it, it destroys your mental capacity to just even be able to properly think straight okay um because all day long that's all you're thinking about is doing is doing is doing this okay um so that's number one uh so so it it, it speeds up your aging process and it also destroys your 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 organs okay your your sexual organs and it messes up your mind mentally that all you're thinking about is just doing this okay um and it's a sin you know what i mean so uh and it's a sin that brings in a lot of demons okay it brings in water spirit demons and and all types of uh demons to your mind and your mental okay this is why a lot of people have headaches and 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 chronic migraines and severe migraine headaches uh because most likely this is what they're doing okay and it's also it leads to it's also because of, of demo worldly demonic music and also generational curses through your bloodline your mother and father bloodline okay uh that's why you need to do generational uh curse breaker prayers um to remove the you know curses off of your your mother and father's bloodlines off of you and your family members right okay so a lot of that stuff comes from that but um also you know i um i have several uh, friends i know that are going through headache problems and and all of them have masturbation problems okay so i know that it comes uh, you know every time i hear somebody with lots of headache problems uh, i know masturbation is uh, a key in that solution and also worldly music um demonic worldly music and masturbation will destroy your mind to the point where you are having you're gonna have headaches uh migraines and and, and it's just you know it's just it's not it's not it's not peace it's not peace you know what i mean and and we want to live in peace we want to live in joy we don't want something to overtake our mind right you know so uh, and that's the reason why we we're talking about this subject because a lot of people are in this thing and it is destroying them and it's overtaking their mind and it also has brought a lot of pain to them and also could bring it also can bring a lot of pain to your relationship right your marriages and your relationship if somebody is doing this uh, so much that they don't even want their wives anymore because they rather just look at uh, pornography and and, and masturbate and, and have a better time than in a fantasy world than than to actually have their wife in bed or their husband in bed right so it does uh bring uh it does destroy marriages as well um you know so um it, it is a topic that uh we need to uh discuss so that's why we're doing it um and you know this picture right here says it clearly because this picture the guy i'm not sure if this is a guy or a girl but anyways they're um they're sitting here uh and then you know and it's like they're just 
like their minds are gone, right? You know what I mean? It's no, it's not fun anymore because it has taken over your mind. See, when the beginning, it doesn't take over your mind. When you're young and doing this, it doesn't take over your mind. You know, it takes over your mind after the after a while. Um, you know, after a while, you keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Then, you, then you realize you're addicted to it, and that's when it starts to take over your mind, right? But when you're young, you really don't notice that because you're young, okay? You're young and vibrant, so you don't really notice that it's taken, it has taken over your mind until you start to get into about 25, maybe, 25, you're like, okay, I got a problem, <laughs> You know, <laughs> and and uh, and I, and I and I know a lot of twenty five year olds are probably right now, you know, l looking at themselves in the mirror like I have a problem, you know, and that's all across the world. Um, doesn't matter, but it's mainly in the in the in the Western world uh, that this is a big problem. Okay, in the Eastern world, they really uh, don't. I mean, they don't really have this problem like they do we do in the Eastern world. I mean, the Western world because the Western world we we have so much. Uh, we, we have so much negative or, or, or uh, demonic stuff that we look at uh, on social media and, and, and TV that it makes it triggers that emotion to to do these types of sins. Right. So in the Eastern world, they, they don't have that. You know, what I mean, a lot of these people don't have that. A lot of people work. A lot of people are poor. A lot of people in the Eastern world are in huts and they don't have te television like that, okay? Uh, or in buildings where we you know barely any television. They don't have, uh, you know, things of that nature. A lot of them don't have internet and, and, and um, Wi-Fi and things of that nature to be able to have access to this. Or You know what I mean? So they, they don't, you know, they don't have any, a lot of them don't have problems with, with this type of sin. And a lot of them wait till their marriage anyways to to, to um, have to do anything sexual with their partners right <clears throat> but in the western world is different we have we have uh, total access to all this crap right so you can be uh, 15 years old and have access to to all the <laughs> all the porn uh, websites all you know television uh, Empire all these things that will just destroy your mind uh, to make you in a place where this person in the picture is at, you know what I mean? And, and by the time you're 25, you'll know if you have a problem or not, right? You just be like, man, this is not, this can't be my life. And what, what happens is, is this, this sin, uh, it, it, it stops blessings from coming to you. It stops favor from coming to you. It stops a lot of your blessings. Uh, it just destroys you, man, because you're not, your, your mind is no longer capable to handle any of the blessings that the Lord or the favors that the Lord will be bringing to you because your mind is only thinking about masturbating. <laughs> okay. So this, this is why this sin is very important because you need to break this sin. We need to break this sin out of our lives right you know we need to break it we need to um fast you know fasting is something that's important to break in this thing but but not just fasting and praying and reading scriptures you got to remove yourself from the things that trigger you to have these sins right um that's the basically the number one thing because you could you could fast and pray and re and remove the um <clears throat> the, the 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 uh the demons that that cause you to do these sins, right? To to masturbate and do all the other sexual sins, but if you're still looking at those uh, places that trigger the sin, it's all just gonna come back. You know what I mean? So the number one thing we have to do is we need to remove ourselves from the places that trigger the sin. You know what I mean? That is the probably the most important thing. Removing, removing yourself from all the places or pictures or things that that trigger the sin you know what i mean it's same thing like smoking uh you know or doing drugs remove yourself from the places that that you always uh that trigger those those uh cravings right if you're hanging if you know going over here to the block you know what i mean or to this hood or to this neighborhood it's going to trigger you to smoke then if you don't then remove yourself from that you know what I mean? They might be like, man, where, where, um, you know, where Dave at, or where, where, where Timmy at, man? He ain't been around the block in a minute, you know. But that's because you're removing yourself from, from that, you know, that trigger to smoke. You see what I'm saying? So you, we have to remove ourselves. It's very important to remove yourselves from the areas that keep you from doing it. You know what I mean? So you don't have any type of uh, craving or recurrent action to 
to do uh, the sin over again. So, you know, smoking, drinking. If you're, if you're a drinker, then you need to stay out, out of the clubs. You know what I mean? You need to stay out of clubs. You need to uh, stay out of um, night um, festivities and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Like uh, order if, if you if you got if you like a place that that serves alcohol. Well, you know, at night, well, order instead of going there and knowing that you're going to drink because that's a trigger. Just order the food. You know what I mean? Order the food, pick it up and roll. You know what I mean? Or have the food or they even deliver. You know, you can pull up and they can have put, you know, bring the food to you and then you can sign it or whatever and, and, and go. You don't, you know, but going inside of there though there is the trigger you see what i'm saying so or you might just want to find a, a, a different place to you know order food or buy food but you know you got to just remove yourself from the trigger so same thing with uh, masturbation you got to remove yourself from the things that are triggering you to do this okay so if somebody on on uh, one of your facebook friends keeps posting uh pictures of, of women or things of that nature um you might want to uh unfollow them you don't you don't have, you don't have to unfriend them but you might want to unfollow them you know what i mean uh so you don't see all that crap that's coming onto your timeline uh same thing on twitter same thing on on uh youtube if you're seeing uh if you're following somebody that does a lot of things like that or or has it you know can trigger you to going back to sin you need to unfollow just un unsubscribe you know what i mean you gotta you gotta take yourself out of the situations that trigger your the sins, you know what I mean? Because even if you fast and pray about it and, re, and and repent about it and remove it out of you, if you don't remove the things that trigger it, if you don't stay away from the things that trigger it, it's just going to come right back. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing. Um, You know, I mean, that's all I can really say. We don't want to look like this person right here that is just out of control. Their mind has been taken over by the, the, um, by the sin and that's all they think about day and night you know what i mean you can't can't even barely function you can't get any blessings or favor because you you, you know what, what can you do with them you know and if you if your mind isn't capable of handling favors and blessings from the lord then uh he's not going to give you any you know what i mean if your mind is is just concentrating on this sin then uh then that's all you're going to be and you're going to get into depression. Depression is also going to come into you as well. So when you do this, the, the spirit of depression comes into you as well. So not only does it uh, destroy your body, your 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 uh, sexual organs, but it also speeds up your, um, you know, your aging and it also destroys your mental capacity. But not just that, it also brings the spirit of depression into you as well. OK, you feel weird. You feel lonely. First of all, you feel lonely because you're, you're doing this to yourself. OK, <laughs> even if you have a partner and, the, and you, know, you feel lonely because you're doing it to yourself. And then also what also happens when you do this, uh, when, when you're doing this and um, you feel like you're not human any longer. You know what I mean? Uh, you feel like there's a problem. You have a, like there, there's something weird about you uh, that you're doing this sin. You know what I mean? So you no longer feel human any longer. You no longer. You, and a lot of people be like, man, I want to I just want to be human again. I just want to be normal, you know, and because it has taken over your mind, you don't feel normal any longer. You know what I mean? So um, that that's what it does. You know, so it's it's a, it's a sin that a lot of people uh, cannot get out of, um, and it takes, uh, and the reason why they can't get out of it because they stay in the play, they, they, they continue to go to the places that trigger the, the sin. Okay. If they, if they, I, I guarantee you, if, if, if you, if we get a whole rack of people here, let's say we line up a whole rack of people that, that, that do the sin, uh, in a building, right? And um, and there's activities to do in the building. Let's say there's a gym, there's a gym, there's a there's a pool, there's rock climbing, there's bicycling, there's um, snacks and games and, and, and video and video games and all types of different things. Like, let's say like like a big like a big building with a whole rack of different things you can do, like a hundred different activities you can do. You know what I mean? And you re and, and because you're in this building that has so many things to do and activities, do you think any of these people will even be thinking about masturbating or or even doing any type of acts of masturbating? No, they wouldn't. They would be enjoying life with these activities. Why? Because they took themselves out of the positions or out of the places or things or environments that caused them to trigger that that sensation to do what they do, that sin, 
You see what I'm saying? So we have to understand that the, it's, it, it's going to these places trigger that sin. So you got to remove yourself from that from the, the places that trigger the sin, and you also have to repent and and be you know and, and uh, re refresh yourself uh, through the blood of Yeshua and the power of Ruach Kadesh Holy Spirit. So hopefully that helped. We don't want to be these type of people. We want to repent and uh, stay masturbation free. <laughs> okay, so that's it for me. Salute, eyes open.